What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you how to install these Polk Audio flush mount ceiling speakers. And I'm gonna show you some tricks installers use to make installation a whole lot easier. They have actually two speakers in one. So you got your high and your mid right here. They actually have decent bass coming out of them. So you may not need a subwoofer depending on your situation. You can adjust the high so you have great clarity so during the dialogue of the movie or TV show that you're watching and you can aim that toward the couch where you're sitting and in the back right here this is where you connect the positive and the negative speaker wire here's the mounting screws right here that you see and when you screw it in what happens is it will open up right here and it basically bites down on the ceiling drywall now before you get started with the installation you want to unplug the amplifier do not have the amplifier connected to the wires because you will short everything out of course you're going to need the two flush mount ceiling speakers wire cutters a measuring tape drill templates and tape speaker wire these are four in one and a box to catch all the debris when i cut the drywall a good drywall knife, protective glasses, mask, and a hat so you don't get debris in your hair. A ladder and two long screws because we're going to use these to tag the spot where we're installing the speakers. So first things first, you want to unplug the amp power so you don't damage your amp. I'm measuring two feet out and about the width of the couch. Now right here is one of my favorite tools. This is called a Wallabot, and it can scan joists, studs in the wall, pipes, cables, wires. Really great tool to have. You just slap it on to the back of your phone and plug in the cables. Your phone powers up the device and select the type of wall you are using. I'm using drywall, and it should detect the joist. There's one joist right there. I mark it with a pencil and another 16 inches should be another joist. You should install that speaker between both joists. And I'm going to mark that joist. Next turn the scanner and make sure there's no wood or studs between those two joists. Once you realize you have a good spot then go ahead and slap up the template and we're gonna mark that spot you may have to move it later on all right so I found one joist so far so good and the other side should be about 16 inches away and there is a joist right there mark it turn the scanner sideways and make sure there's no wood between those two joists and there is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to move the template forward away from the wall and that should be no problem whatsoever. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a measurement and I'm going to move my other template forward or away from the wall so it matches the other template. Next, tag the spot in the center to locate later on in the attic. I'm using the screws as markers. Grab your roll of wires and head on into the attic. Added some Christmas lights so I could see in the attic. So now I'm going to climb around. Make sure when you climb in the attic, you have your feet on the studs. Really call the joist. Hold on before taking a step and make sure you swipe away the insulation and you're stepping on only a joist. See how I did that? And I almost fell there. Just be careful. Always hold on to something. All right. So as you can see, um, drop speaker wires down the wall. Usually there is a pre-existing hole for coax cables where that area is for the TV. And measure eight inches from the screw to give space for the ceiling speakers when you cut around, the, you know, drywall. All right. Next, I'm tracing out the area where I'm going to cut. Now for this part, you want to make sure you're using a sharp drywall knife because if you're using a dull knife 
or anything but a drywall knife, it's going to be torturous for you. So make sure you have the right tools for the right job. I'm using a box to catch all the debris. There may be some insulation that falls in the box. And right here I'm trimming out outside of the area so I can slide in that speaker. You want to make sure you connect the red wire to the red port on the speaker and the black wire to the black port, which is the negative. And make sure you turn all the wing nuts inward. The speaker won't slide into the hole if the wing nuts are opened. So make sure they're facing inward. If you're using an electric screwdriver, make sure you set the torque to one or two, and then only screw into the Phillips screws on the outer ring of the speaker. Those wing nuts will clamp down onto the drywall very tightly, but don't over tighten the screws. Next, you can aim the tweeter to the focal point of the sitting area and then push on the grill. Now, of course, you want to do the same thing on the other side. When you're using your drywall knife, make sure you don't cut the wires by accident and using a low torque drill, screw into the outer ring Phillips screws, direct the tweeter toward the focal point where you're sitting and slap on that speaker grill. Now you can use a speaker plate like this one and banana connectors if you want to be professional, then I highly suggest using this method right here. You just strip off a quarter inch at the end of the speaker wire and then fold it over right here. As you can see, there's teeth in here. And then you screw this piece on and it bites onto the bare wire, just like that. And then of course, red goes to red and then negative black goes to black, just like that. And then on this side, you wanna unplug the amp, of course. And so if you don't know which side to plug it into, the L or the right, you know, so you just get a battery like this one put the negative on the back end of the battery and on the positive, put the red speaker wire. You should hear a clicking come out of the left or right speaker. And if you hear it coming out of the left, then plug it into L, it's labeled L in the back of the amp. And just plug it into there. And then right goes the red, just like that. And so now you know where the left and right speaker plug into in the back of the amp. Then you can plug in the power last. Is the best medical show on television. He saved everyone in that restaurant before saving himself. I'm not going to let you die here. All right guys, this is the finished installation. What do you guys think? The installation went pretty smoothly. I ran the four in one cables, speaker wires right here, and then I split the four in one and connected the red and black wires to the right speaker and the white and green wires to the left speaker. The only issue I ran into is that I found there was a piece of wood going this way. And so I had to move the template a little bit further away from the wall, maybe like three or four inches away from the wall this way. And because I had to move the template forward, I had to move this template forward to match that template. But besides that, everything went really smoothly. And then the speaker wire in the attic, I ran down the existing hole which the coax cable was going down. I just followed that hole down and down the wall and connected to the speaker plate, speaker wire plate right there. Now, I already had that installed in my previous video. I did a surround sound video, but uh, I just connected it right there and then that connects to this tube amplifier. Now, this is just a stereo tube amplifier. It's not surround sound really and there's my connections right there, going to the audio input on the amplifier. And I have my volume set to uh, maybe like 35%. And my bass is turned up to maybe 75%. And my treble is set to 50%. I have it connected to the headphone audio output on my TV. And the reason why, so I can use my volume control on my Fire TV remote. So, here we go. Ready? And I have the tweeters aimed this way. And this one is aimed this way. So if you're sitting right there, you're gonna hear amazing sound. 
but of course you're gonna hear good sound on this side or this side but everything is directed toward toward this seat right there but I think everything sounds amazing Polk audio are a great value speaker and in my opinion they are the way to go and click on the share button below share this video to anyone that's interested in installing flesh mount speakers if this video was informative give me a big thumbs up